due to popular demand, Steven's gonna turn off this monitor right here. See, I listen to my subscribers. So, a couple days ago, I was complaining to my friend how Sony Vegas was bad and I was gonna switch to um, Adobe Premiere Pro. And then Sony Vegas decided to make a new video editor a couple days later um, because their most popular user um, had some complaints. So today I'm going to be talking about Sony Vegas Pro 14, new features and stuff like that. If I think it's worth buying, um, just an overall overview of the program. There's actually three of them. I'll talk about them later, but this is the intro. Can we please, you know, like this video? Um, my channel's like really dead right now. Like I think Timbers is going to pass me. Um, yeah, get this video to 500 likes, man. Um, show them hashtag team van on my last Instagram post. I'll link it in the description and yeah, let's get into I'm the gonna video. be really quick with this video because I don't want to bore you guys with information You can just read basically Sony has released three video editors um, Sony Vegas Pro 14 edit Vegas Pro 14 You know the one that most people will get and the pro suite version So I did try out the f trial for the pro 14 version and it looked exactly the same I knew how to dig deeper and then I saw like all the features and stuff and I'm just gonna talk about if it's worth it if uh, I recommend you buying it and just the new features and all. So I have three tabs open. So Vegas Pro 14 Edit is the most basic version. It's the cheapest version at $400. Unless it's Canadian, it might be more expensive for American um, as well as, you know, different currencies. I don't know. But um, if you scroll down here, it gives some of the features what's new. So what's new here is hover scrub technology. So it'll be easier to, um, I guess, navigate through your timeline, navigate through footage. Um, that's really helpful, actually. I hate clicking and then zooming in. Um, to um, see a portion of the clip that I want to. Um, now I, I guess it's easier. 4K footage is now available. Now I guess you can like work with 4K footage. Red camera support. So this is for um, those expensive red cameras that are like 20K and up. Um, I don't see any of you guys really using it, but I guess they're targeting higher end uh, companies and businesses and filmmakers for that. Uh, we're going to scroll down. So video velocity basically, uh, I guess, increases the speed of your video. So fast forwards them. Um, so now you can make like time lapses and stuff. So there you can see that they're targeting, um, obviously, filmmakers like Casey Neistat and stuff like that. Smart zoom is something that I already think is available. I guess this makes it faster. So you can zoom in portions of the clip. Uh, smart adaptive deinterlacing. This is very helpful. Uh, for people who always have to disable resample and have to um, do that for every single clip to reduce ghosting now you can just do this it's a lot faster um script for grouping video and audio events this is i think already a thing you can s select multiple clips and press Control g but uh, maybe this will actually put them in a folder or something like that and make it a lot more efficient and faster you decide which resampling mode to use. I guess this is also really helpful as well. Now let's look at this extensive format support. If you read it all, you can you know obviously see that it is helpful, but this is more for higher end people who have higher, uh, I guess, uh, footage, better footage, 4K footage, ultra HD footage. You can see all this like really cool stuff. This is faster import for HFR material. So high frame rate material. So I guess, uh, what they're going to do is basically um, that bar in the bottom left of your Sony Vegas won't appear every time you import a video because it'll be faster. Um, hopefully this means faster exporting as well. That'd be very helpful because um, the rendering on Sony Vegas is pretty bad. So if you go into Vegas, so if you guys didn't show this video version, you can see that they're all the same. But once you get past here, include it in Vegas Pro 14 and higher. Um, it gives you new blue effect, which was actually available in previous Sony Vegas's. So I don't see the point of buying this separately. Um, like the video editor when you can just buy new blue FX looks separately. It's just a color correction thing. Um, and there's probably better stuff like um, magic bullet looks and stuff like that that you can buy instead of this. But um, you can see it's a color correction software. I mean, a color grading software. That's basically the only thing that they're providing that's not in um, the edit version. So I don't really see the point of buying it. I don't think it's worth it, honestly, because it is $200 more. And you can already color correct and color grade. So um, I don't think this pro version here is worth it. We're going to check out the sweet version. So it's $800, which is a steep price tag. Um, obviously, with a steep price tag, they should be providing better like better features and stuff. So I'm going to scroll down here. Include it in Vegas Pro 14 suite. So professional motion tracking with Boris FX BCC match move unit. So 
Um, this is actually very helpful for a lot of people. I see tutorials on this in After Effects. So basically they just added a portion of After Effects into this. Obviously it's not as powerful as After Effects, but it does have the features of it. So basically it can motion track a lot better. Sony Vegas will, I guess, identify points from a video. It'll like look at a video and then identify points and then you can like add text um, and track it. So that's really nice. I've been looking for that for a while, so if you like a COD uh, video editor or a gaming video editor, you should really look into this. Sensational 3D object creation and manipulation. So another thing that another um, editor has, which is Cinema 4D, uh, 3D object, so you can see a lot of people will be using this. And then advanced text creation and titles with new blue effects. So this is also very helpful. Um, Cinema 40 does have this type of stuff where you make 3D uh, text and stuff. So I can see a lot of templates being made and you can see start with one of our integrated templates. So you will see a lot of intros being made, a lot of templates being on YouTube and stuff. So I'll probably make a tutorial on it in the future if you guys want and advanced chroma keying with Boris FX. Um, so this is also very helpful, a lot faster. So basically I think um, what they're trying to attempt here is to target higher um, and like people who have a lot of money who have better quality footage um, So that's why they're integrating like red camera support uh, 4k footage as well as stuff um, that are available in other editors So that there's really no reason for you to go to another editor. They have cinema 4d support basically um, After Effects Premiere Pro there's really no re if you did find it helpful hit with this video editor so right now i'm thinking i'd only um really buy this one or this one if i were you if you're just um strictly editing youtube videos i'd get the edit version um because the pro 14 version doesn't really provide anything but color correction compared to this one and it's 200 dollars more expensive so i'd go for the pro 14 edit version if you want to get into the sony vegas environment um sweet version i would only go if you're a filmmaker cod video editor a sports video editor something that really uses the features of like cinema 4d after effects if you right now use after effects cinema 4d adobe premiere pro and you want to switch to something that gives you everything you should really go for the pro uh, 14 suite version it really is worth it in my opinion but with that steep price tag it's all up to you um i would not go for the normal version because it really doesn't uh, provide anything that the edit version doesn't like the sweet version actually has things that are valuable 3d text templates motion tracking everything you want so hopefully this helps you uh, make a decision um, if you want to buy uh, whatever sony vegas you want or if you're just interested and just wanted to know more about um, what's new with sony vegas so if you guys did enjoy this video if it if you did find it helpful hit that thumbs up button my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one